Okay, part two of this video is going to finish up with the last two proofs. In looking at this proof, this one looks a little different from proofs we have done before because there are numbers involved. And so we're going to do a little bit of combining of algebra with our traditional proofs. So given that AD is 6, DC is 3, BE is 4, and EC is 2, prove the triangles are similar. Picture is already marked for us. The problem is, is that this segment right here that we're given doesn't correspond to part of our little triangle. Okay, So we are going to need to do some algebra work because ultimately we need to say that CA corresponds to CD and that CB corresponds to CE. I'm given side length. That makes sense. There's no way to fi figure out that third side. So I'm not going to be doing side, side, side. But I can see that I share this angle of C. They overlap. And so I'm going to have that reflexive. So I'm going to prove these two congruent by side, angle, side. S similar by side, angle, side. So let's get started. So we got to get our given. AD is equal to 6. DC is 3. BE is 4, and EC is 2. Now, I need to get that CA and CB into my proof. So I'm going to go back to parts to whole, and I'm going to say that CA is equal to CD plus DA, and I'm going to say that CB is equal to CE plus EB. Now that I have those two in there, I'm going to do a little math substitution here. And I'm going to say that CA is equal to 3 plus 6, and CB is equal to 2 plus 4. That is by substitution. While it's tempting, we can't add those in the same step that we're substituting. Remember, one step per line. So CA is equal to 9, and CB is equal to 6, and I can do that by addition. Now I need to set up my ratio to show that these are proportionate, and so I'm going to say that CD over CA is equal to CE over CB. And what lets me say that is the definition of proportions. I can take equal things and create proportions out of them. And so when I substitute or when I got my sides proportionate now, and if I substitute in to show that their values indeed are, see D, I've got 3 over 9 is indeed equal to 2 over 6, and that is by substitution. Now my sides are shown to be proportionate in the same ratio. Two more steps, we'll call this done. I need my angle. Angle C is equal to angle C. That is by reflexive. Remember when we have overlapping or shared pieces, we use reflexive. And now I can say triangle C, D, E is similar to triangle C, A, B by side, angle, side, similarity. The whole substitution and showing the segments are proportionate is a little tedious, but not hard. You just have to remember one step per line. Now our last proof has a lot of that similar stuff in it. It's our butterfly picture, and we know that our butterfly picture is going to have vertical angles, so we're going to mark those in. Our other given 
gives us basically two isosceles triangles. Now what we're going to do with that is a little interesting. So we're going to say that AC is equal to BC and DC is equal to CE by given. I'm going to go ahead and say that angle ACB is equal to angle DCE by the vertical angle theorem. Now, this one, we should have talked about before, this one has that same AB to AC, or these two pieces being compared to these two pieces. So I'm looking to set these two triangles similar, set up their ratio of their sides, and then cross multiply. Okay. So I'm working on that side angle side option to say that the triangles are similar. Now what I can do at this point is because that AC and CB are the same and CD and CE are the same, I can set up a ratio and say that AB compared to CE is equal to BC 